from Lagos. Let's move on to Abuja where the protest to mark the first anniversary of NSAS movement has also begun at Unity Fountain in Abuja. The protesters gathered with a big banner with the inscription, We are or oh, we never forget 2010 20 hashtag NSAS memorial. The convener of the Revolution Now movement, Omoyele Shore, and uh, activist Deji Adeonju uh, led the hashtag NSAS memorial protest in Abuja on Wednesday. Protest held at the Unity Fountain saw the protesters chanting anti government songs. They also sang the national anthem and urged the government to stop police brutality. The protest was held amid tight security. Meanwhile, another hashtag NSAS protest has begun in front of the Ministry of Justice building, Maitama, Abuja. Protesters gathered at the front of the building with banners and placards on Wednesday, majorly dressed in black. There is also a heavy presence of security personnel at the venue to control the crowd and moving vehicles as the protesters occupied a part of the road. Now, one year after the hashtag NSAS saga took place at Lake Toll Gate, experts have submitted that no lesson has been learned. This conclusion was made by experts who delivered various keynotes at a commemorative lecture organized to mark one year memorial of the incident and 35 years after the demise of the renowned journalist Delegiwa. Speaking with Ibrand TV at the event, Femi Falana, a Professor Pat Utomi, among other guest speakers at the event, spoke on lessons inherent in the hashtag NSAS debacle. Now they set up a police force. Police force. Not police department or police service. Those who took over the reins of power in 1960 never saw the need to demilitarize the police, to decolonize the police, because the police force serves the interests of the ruling class, and that is what has continued. So it's not possible unless you have an ideological orientation for the ruling class. No lesson has been learned, and that is why, in spite of the NSAS protests, police killings have continued, extrajudicial killings have continued, extortion of members of the public have continued, not just by the police alone, but by all the forces whose personnel operate as if they are above the law. At the airport, they seize passports. They stigmatize you. They search your house without a court order. They arrest you without a court order. Whereas the law says, before you can take away any of the fundamental rights entrenched in the Constitution, or in the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, you must get a court order. So you can't declare a Nigerian wanted without a court order. You can't seize the passport of a Nigerian without a court order. You cannot search the house of, search the house of a Nigerian without a court order. You cannot arrest a Nigerian without a court order, unless he's caught act, you know, committing an offense. We need a democracy. We don't have one. We need for the voice of the people to be respected. We need political parties that can crystallize the, the desires of the people today and long term and socialize a group of young people into being able to sacrificially offer themselves in service to bring about those desired goals. Uh, right now, political parties are just machines for grabbing power, usually for goal displacement, uh, displacing public goals with private goals. And we have seen what it has done to us. You just look last weekend and see the mess that the so-called uh, uh, primaries were. Uh, because what is at stake is not how a country moves forward. What was at stake was individual rush for whatever purposes they perceive that the system does offer. 
Protest is a fundamental right. So uh, the, the IG or the police doesn't have the right to stop any police. I mean, any, any protest. I mean, it's any peaceful protest. I mean, and the uh, courts. I mean, it's made that one clear in the case of police versus uh, um, AMPP. And the court of appeal has decided that one that uh, the police had no right to stop any protest. I think it's a, it's a matter of uh, apprehension that well, perhaps uh, some miscrime may hijack this thing like uh, it, it happened uh, a year ago. But what I uh, want to expect the police to do? Okay, you, I mean, stay around. I mean, bodyguard uh, the protesters uh, to make sure that these things are not hijacked. Pure and simple. But you don't have I mean, such right to stop uh, people from protesting. Like, so I know that the, the, this, the souls of the departed will not be in vain. We will ask for justice until it is granted. And if not, it will become history so that justice in itself, in that sense, will be granted. We will make sure that it's a just cause, at least, if, if nothing else. However, unity is about everybody, which includes the officer who has kids at home, who when he dies, they'll throw his things over the balcony and evict his family, whether I think in three months, I don't know how it is now, but when I was in the barracks, I witnessed it. If your, if your, if your papa like me die for incident duty, in the next three to six months, they will evict your family, his family without any idea of where they're going to. So the way forward would be, let's just be human again.